Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Dean, or as most of you know me, Twisty. The last episode, we obviously ended day one of this Force Ashes test match at the SCG. 109 not out from 178 deliveries. Uh, the Aussies, although it'd probably be like 180, 190 if it actually counted all the wides and no balls that... Because for some reason it doesn't want to do that during a test match, which... I don't know if it actually counts towards your balls face. Anyway, um... 5 for 437. It's a big lead. Um, so we're going to come out here on day two. See what we can do. we got Matty Wade with us at the crease. He's on about 17 or 18 on out, I think. And uh, I'm on 100 and... Whatever. 137, did I say? No. 109. Wade's on 24, 26 now. Let's see uh, what day two has in store. Wokes steaming in with this 11 over old ball. And it's been hit for four, my first ball of the day. Yep. Oh, that's in the gap as well. There shall be two. I feel like today I really need to just amp up this innings again. As in, we can't... We, we should just bat this one innings and put England well and truly out of the game. If we make six, seven hundred runs, that's sort of what I'm thinking here is the way to go about it. I reckon if you count all the wides, because there's been a fair few of them. Like that better not be one too. It is. Like if we have a look here, there's been 16 wides. Like if they actually counted in my balls, I might be 115 off 200. I mean, they probably weren't all against me, but. And the thing is, even if we can make 600 here, if it is me and Wade who do it, um, we can then declare. Without our bowlers getting their hands dirty whatsoever. And... It, did they... Someone, like, yell and appeal that? Or was it just a crowd catch? Because... Unbelievable. Um, yeah, if if we can bat without our bowlers needing to bat at all... Um, obviously, we're going to be in a prime position to then... Clean up England. Started bowling pretty well here this morning. Other than all those wides... Yes! Great enough. And it's continuing to race away from that fielder. We'll pick up a third run here. Come back pretty comfortably in the end. Every time I hit a gap on the offside, it's a boundary. It's not one, it's not a two, it's always a four. Oh, this is tight. Jeez, had a real opportunity to throw the stumps down there. Not sure who it was. It's Joe Root. The left arm. Would it have been out had it been a direct hit? No, it looks like I did get back about there. Yep. That's mid wicket, and that should be another four. Oh, wowee. I think that's off the toe. And it's gone for four. 98 overs gone. Five for 482. There's only one more test match after this. Before the short form series get underway. The one day try series and the T20 series. But um, I'm going to struggle I reckon. I've, I've played so well in this long form of the game. Batting so patiently and you know just waiting, yep. waiting for the bad ball and the moment and whatever. And once you're in the shorter form, you can't afford to do that. You can't afford to... Is this a 100-run partnership between us? Surely not. It is. There you go. And you, you just can't afford to be leaving too many deliveries in the shorter form of the game. Anyway, 101 overs gone. Wade brings up his half century, or brought up his half century in that over. It's a majority leg side field for him as well. Oh, it's not quite there. It's four. Oh, no! Oh, the throw was terrible! And we bring up the 500. Five for 500. Waited for it. 
Gonna be four. You're getting desperate there if you're yelling about that. Yep. That is good. That is very good. Just playing into the field wherever it's necessary, into the gaps, getting fours, getting boundaries. 148. I think this is a new PB. On debut, we made 142. But it has been a remarkable inning so far. Oh, even that one. Sort of in the mid-wicket area. A little bit squarer than mid-wicket, but it's going to be another boundary. It's the 150 up. And look, I can say that it's been mostly me this innings that has put us in this strong position, which it kind of has, but it's actually been a collective effort from the team. There's been, you know, multiple half-centuries. There's been one, two, three, four half-centuries... The other two players were two and three runs respectively away from those half centuries. Um, and it's just been about these big partnerships. Like you can never look again at those partnerships. See, there's been over three 100 run partnerships, a 98 run partnership, a 50 run partnership. There's only been one run, one partnership less than 50. So it's kind of also terrifying that, um, that England could you know, possibly make like 700 runs or whatever. But, I mean, doing what we can. Another single. That'll be the end of the 109th over 5 for 527. I think we're going to have a look at our wagon wheel here. Finally? No? I even look at my wagon wheel. Maybe I'll have a look at it now. This has been our wagon wheel, by the way, from our 157 across our 250 deliveries. Mostly square on both sides of the field. Behind square a little bit on both the leg and offside, but nothing really in the V. Look at that. There's like nothing in there. Incredible. I thought I would have hit there more. I think because there's always the fielders there. And even though I am trying to hit there more, sometimes I'm just not. 69 overs to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's in the air. Fielder's down there. Fielder's taking the catch. Or has he? No, he's... He saved it from being six. But it's just going to be two. That's a weird shot. It's like a ramp, was it? What happened? Ramped it. Fielder got to it. Saved it. From going over. Oh yeah, because he did end up going over the rope. Hey, yeah. It's pretty well done, actually, in the end. 150 partnership, as well. 550 up. For Australia. Can we get five more runs, actually? Yep. So it's five for five, five, five. That's probably over. Works none for 150, by the way. The old block and run. Five for 555. Honestly. Oh, we've just lost back-to-back -back wickets. Must have been Wade and Cummins. Oh, it's Cummins gone first ball. After the bowling of old BC. And Stark's in at the other end, so... All of a sudden, Australia seven down for 559. Do I look to improve my run rate? Do I continue going about it the way I have been all day? I mean, I trust Stark to bat well. For like, ten balls before he will get himself out. But like, you know. I've gotta believe. We can build another partnership here. That's no, not gonna be from Cummins, but... Oh, that's two. Oh, Stark's well and truly back. Can't be long left in this opening session. Australia 7 for 5, 6, 7. That's driven straight down the ground. This will be a couple of runs. Possibly three. Whether or not we turn for the fourth. I think Stark will turn for the fourth because he's going to be quick at the 
non-striker's end. I'll get back at the striker's end. Four runs. Very well run. I probably don't want to be running Stark that hard, though. You know, he is going to need a bowl. And that will be the end of the first session. Pretty happy with how we've gone about things so far. 183 from 278. What did we end the last thing on? Not a lot. Um, but at the start of the day's play, we were 5 for 400 and something. We've added another 100 and whatever many runs to the total. And uh, lost a couple of wickets along the way. So Broad, Censored. I think Censored was the man who took both wickets in that session. Um, but it is obviously going to be another little period. We're going to hopefully make some more runs and just get us over that 200 mark. As this series obviously still in the balance. It's one all at the moment. We want to give our country the best possible chance of winning it. That ball moved, but also I played around it. Um, we do want to give ourselves the best chance of winning, winning this series, so a 2-1 Victory would mean at the MCG test match we would just require a draw to win the series 2-1. Yep. Beats the bowler. No fielder at mid-off. Gonna be at least three or four. No, I can't run five because my guy's too slow. Stark 100% would have been able to do it. Oh, that's gonna be close to the same result. Maybe just the two on this occasion. Oh, it's an edge, and it's flown as a top edge. It's a single. That's an edge, doesn't carry. How close did it go? Ooh. Oh, I put it in the air, hoping to get a double ton with a six, but it's just for that moves us to 199 from 290 deliveries. Crowd on the edge of their seats. Yep. No! Stuart Broad the bowl. 1 for 179 Broad as bowl. Gee, that's some rough figures. Where's this 200th run coming from? There it's good oh, stuck. He got it there. Yes. You beauty. Plays the headset and the controller. Get around it. Unbelievable. Two hundred from two nine two. I, I just want to see how close was this to being a run out. Didn't even go upstairs. Is the, is the back grounded? Certainly in. I don't know if the bat's grounded until here. Touching like a blade of grass. That's that's probably out, to be honest. I didn't know if the bat was grounded. In our first double ton in international cricket, our first test match. Double hundred. And what a crucial time to do it too. In an Ashes series, at one all. And that's the declaration! Just out of the blue! The Aussies have gone, alright, we'll just declare on ya. Give him the old come inside, gentlemen. Thanks for warning me. Would have at least liked to know, but at least they let me get my 200. I feel like that's the key thing here. So Australia ended that it first inning, 614, um, declaring, I was on 201 not out, well done, well done for letting me get there before you declared. Uh, 7 for 614, obviously, massive, uh, massive score by the Australians, and uh, straight away the, the, the captain Alex Ross is like, alright, come in, see what we can do, we can put these English fellas on the back foot, and he's going with the spinner, that's me, 2 for 60 at the moment, oh that's a ripper. It's putting a little bit of doubt early in the batsman's mind. Yes. Oh, that's a... Maybe a catching opportunity? Not quite. Oh, that's close. 
That could be out. There's definitely two noises there. What was the second one? Was it glove? That's hitting the bat there. Come on, surely. Oh, I got the edge. Oh, look at this work. So, if you miss that little piece of simulation, it was the Stark and Hazelwood show with Cummins making a guest appearance. England all out for 196 and have been enforced to follow on here early on day three. So, they would have been told to follow on late last uh, in the last day's play, and they're now none for 48 after that. So it was uh, Hazelwood taking four wickets, uh, three, Stark with four, Grant and Cummins one apiece. I did nothing after five overs, but, I mean, I didn't really have to hit it all with the bat to begin with. Just one wicket remaining. And Australia win by an innings and 53 runs. I am the player of the match. I took three for 62 in that second innings. I simulated the whole thing because I did not want to sit through it. I've been recording for <coughs> almost three hours straight now. And it's just been a beautiful 201 runs uh, not out in that inning. So a sensational thing. Australia up 2-1 in the Ashes. And uh, it was over in, in just about three days play. I love it. Sixes. Six and a zero in the Big Bash, by the way. So Australia up 2-1 in the Ashes series going into Game 5. We're not going to play it today. We're going to just have a look here at our last uh, little test match performances. And so far, we've had a really good start to our test career. Uh, two centuries and a 50 within our six innings, including a double ton. Um, and then a couple of other lower scores there. Look at our career stats, if you want to. You can just have a look at everything there. I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, but we still get to play a one-day game, which is going to happen as soon as this Ashes series is complete. And we are now a regular member of this uh, Ashes Test Series. I'm now Australia's third best run scorer for the series, with 463 runs, averaging 77 across the series at a strike rate of 70 which i think and the last thing i wanted to look at here was the bowling stats for the series you can see broad's taken 25 wickets hazelwood 21 bc censored has taken 17 mitchell stark 16 works 15 cummins 12 and myself down there just underneath grant uh with nine wickets for the series. Uh, but that is all for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, that's very close. I wouldn't be surprised if they go upstairs here. It, it was definitely swinging away. It's just whether it held the line enough. Jeez, I might have been a little worried had they did go on upstairs. Yeah, so that that was going to be the issue. If it, I thought it had hit me inside the line and then it would have been really tight.